world over here moving through my offices wanted to have a quick conversation about what it takes man some of you guys need to hear this are you tired are you beat do you not have the energy why is it do you see that some people have more energy than others right teach you something i learned in the military now i wasn't in the military i went to boot camp and i dislocated my arm you know, about a month in and Never finished. Got a general discharge. Don't even give you a real medical discharge. A general discharge. Um, but I did learn something when I was there. And I'll tell you what I learned. I learned you have more in you than you think. Whatever you think you have in you, they will pull more out of you. And I feel like it was a great lesson for me and a life lesson I've learned. And I'm I'm sure that you know. Salute to all the the veterans out there, man. Salute to everyone who served in our armed forces, Air Force. Army, Navy, Marines, you guys are the real rock stars, man, but, uh, you know, it taught me that I always have more in me, uh, just when you thought you were done, they managed to suck a little bit more out of you, <laughs> and uh, in business, it has to be that way, right, in business, you're going to think you're done, you're going to think you've given it your all, do one more, do one more, that's what this video is about, right now, it is 7.15, I've been here since 7 a.m. this morning. And I got another call at 8 o'clock. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, should I do another YouTube video? Should I send out another email? Yeah, send out. You know, a good buddy, a uh, mentor, a uh, guy I follow online, Ed Milet, says max out. Right, max out. You should leave it all on the on the playing field, right? And that's really what this video is about. If you don't feel like you're leaving it all on the on the on the field, if you feel like you're operating your business and you still got room to breathe, you still have room to grow, you could have did more that day, essentially you're playing yourself, right? And so um, some of the tips that I use to kind of help me always refocus me, right? Always refocus me. I have an hour trigger in my mind that just, you know, am I closer to my goals? Am I closer to my goals? I write down my goals every day. I write down my to-do list. I check my to-do list with my goals, which I think a lot of people don't do. A lot of people, first of all, never ask themselves what they really want out of life, what how they want to spend their days, you know? But once you ask yourself that and you honestly answer it, honestly being the key word, um, then it'll give you more direction to your to-do list. So, you know, I literally write down my to-do list every single day and then I go check, does this match my goals? And guess what? Most of the time there's stuff on the list that does not match the goals. So I have to go and cross those things out because it, you start to realize, oh man, that really doesn't matter because time is precious, you know? And if you if you do this every day and you realize that there's more in you, right? So I'm challenging you guys today to do one more. Do one more of anything you're trying to get excellent at. You know, if you guys have seen my video on fail fast, and some of the other business, uh, let me, I think my business model video, I talk a lot about failing fast and getting through iterations faster, trying things faster, uh, being more repetitive with the activities because that's what it takes to get to greatness, right? Michael Jordan shot more basketballs than the average person. Shit, he shot more basketballs than the people in the NBA, right? And that's why he was so great. Um, same thing with, you know, with, with anybody that's great in their field, they did it more than the next guy. So when you think you're exhausted, when you think you're done, realize you have more in you. You always got more in you. And just understanding that, understanding that will give you the momentum, give you the power, give you the willpower, the courage, you know, whatever you, whatever you want to call it that you need to get through the next iteration. Now, there's a lot to be said about momentum, right? So once you get through that iteration, Things seem to come a little bit more, you know, it's kind of like the runner's high for those of you guys who don't run. I'll explain that when you when you start running, there's a point where you feel like you're tired and you want to give up. And if you push a little bit further than that, all of a sudden you realize you can do double, triple and you're just high. You're on this high kind of and, and you're just kind of moving. So the same thing in business, you know, I always use the example that, you know, they, they say, oh, you can, nobody can do anything 12, 13 hours a day without losing steam. You ever watch a kid play a video game? You know, watch my watch my niece the other day, watch twelve hours of Peppa Pig. She didn't look like she was tired of it, right? When you do stuff that's exciting, when you do stuff that is moving you closer to your goals, you get excited and it gives you more energy. 
You actually have more energy for your your relationships. You have more energy for your partners. You have more energy for your business. You have more energy to pay attention to the things that matter. Um, but that all comes from the purpose. So this is why it's so important to understand what am I doing? Where am I going? What do I really want? Because if not, what happens is whatever you're doing throughout the day, right? you can go and, and mow grass and feel productive if that's all you had on your list to do. But over time, what happens is that productivity kind of skews down and it becomes less and less just because it's not really productive to your end goal, right? So if your end goal is to, uh, let's say, live in a bigger house or, you know, get a new job, then, you know, mowing the lawn ain't going to build a lot of momentum for you, right? So understanding that you're doing something that's actually moving you closer to your goal will actually give you more energy to do the next thing and the next thing. But never forget, never, ever forget, whenever you think you're burned out, whenever you think you're close to finish, when you think you got no more in you, you got one more in you. And you probably got two more in you and three more in you. Um, practice. Practice that muscle, right? Practice that train of thought. Um, practice that in all disciplines of your life, whether it's exercise, whether it's diet, whether it's restraint from drugs or alcohol, um, whether it's financial restraint from buying or not buying uh, something. Um, practice that, right? You always got one more and you. you always got a little bit more in you. I mean, I, I still do this now when I'm talking about investing, right? I don't know if I have enough. Nah, I could do a little bit more, just a little bit more. Knowing that later on that will build the bo the momentum, the snowball that'll keep growing and growing and growing. And I'll thank myself later for doing it. So hope you guys are rocking whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to get better at. Do one more, right? Do one more. Spend an extra hour on the phone with your girl. Spend an extra hour on the phone with your client. Spend an extra hour learning about financial literacy. Do more. Do that one more, even when you think you're tired. As a matter of fact, train yourself when you think you're the most tired to just go one more time, one more time.